Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's a very interesting day because we have the first gaming benchmarks for one of the Ryzen processors. So today some benchmarks were revealed about the R7 Ryzen 7 1700, not the X mod, the 1700, the simple. So the only gaming benchmarks that uh, were revealed actually are GTA 5 and then multi-core and uh, single core performance uh, in Cinebench. So as you can see right here, this video posted by that guy has not been released yet. So the setup this guy used is of course the i7 7700K for comparison and the Ryzen 7 1700 of course. Uh, then you got a Gigabyte Z270 Ultra Gaming X and an Asus ROG Crosser VI Hero for the AMD side. Of course the same graphics card, GTX 1080. There you get all the others don't matter basically but whatever. So here as you can see are the results of the gaming benchmark. So we have GTA 5 maxed out at 1080p and we can see that the i7 the i7 7700K on stock set settings non overclocked hits 89 fps on uh, average for some reason at 5 gigahertz hits 1 fps less I don't know but the uh, max fps goes way up but that doesn't matter the average is what matters more so 89 will set it there and then the Ryzen 7 1700 uh, non overclocked because that's very important uh, hits 85 fps in my opinion overclocked it will be performing much better because uh, considering it has a very low very low compared to the other ones it has a very low clock speed in my opinion overclocked it will perform much better now as you can see right here we have the Cinebench, the Cinebench multi core and single core performance and this is where I want to focus so as you can see right here the multi core performance of the R7 1700X is much better than the 7700K or no the 7700K yeah and the 6700K so the performance there is gonna be much better for video encoding and all that stuff it's gonna be better but as you can see here in the single core performance uh, it's quite lower than both of these processors and that's why in gaming uh, it's so close to the uh, 7700K whereas it has double the core count but this is of course uh, related to gaming because gaming uh, doesn't need more cores it needs more gigahertz rather than cores to run better with more FPS so yeah these are the first results guys if you like the video subscribe to my channel and click the like button below and yeah I will see you all in the next one bye